Greetings, Bobby W6IW in here. Today we're gonna to take a look at the new Baofeng K5. This thing boasts a 10 watts. Let's check it out. Let's get right to it. Okay, the Baofeng K5 plus 10 watt tri-band radio is a tri-band radio. It's uh, rated at 10, seven and four watts. It has variable powers. We will put it on the meter and test that out, so stand by. It has scramble feature. I don't believe that is legal in the United States. You're gonna to have to check that out. Uh, 999 channels, not a thousand, but it has 999 channels. Box, Noah Weather will demonstrate all that here in a minute. Uh, as it shows the tri-power here, the 1.77 inch color screen. The 10 Noah Weather stations are pre-programmed. Uh, the freak, the Frequency scramble function. You're gonna to have to look into that one on your own. Two charging methods. So this thing is USB-C charging. It's on the back instead of the bottom. I do like that. It is on the battery though, so it will charge the battery. It's not on the radio. But I did have problems with some radios. They were putting it on the bottom and then you can't set it on the desk. So this is cool. It's on the back. I do like that. <clears throat> it comes with this antenna here that it says that it is to be gain at 1.2. SWR, I cannot confirm that. It says equipped with a separate 220 megahertz band antenna. I did not find that in the box. So I'll show you everything in the box, but uh, manufacturers, if you're listening and you're making tri-band radios, please include just a tri-band. One tri-band antenna would be awesome. All right, so the frequency range on this is 136 to 174, 220 to 260, 400 to 480, those are all transmit and receive, and also you can receive uh, in between those. It does have the FM radio, I will demonstrate that. It comes with a 2500 milliamp hour lithium ion battery and some other stuff. So stay tuned and we'll see what's in the box. Let's put this thing on the meter and see if it does 10 watts. Okay, this thing boasts of 10 watts. Let's give it a shot. I got it on the power meter and then I got a 50 watt dummy load over here right behind the radio. High power, two meters. Oh, 9.61 there for a minute. Reading the meter down here on the bottom. Let's try out 70 centimeters. Four, four, six, zero, zero, zero. Okay, we're on 70 centimeters. Four, four, six. Zero. W6IWN, testing receive on the Baofeng K3. Audio one, two, three. W6IWN, testing transmit on the Baofeng K3. Receiving on the Baofeng K6. Testing audio. Okay, the Baofeng K5 comes pre-programmed with the NOAA weather channels. What you need to do to access them is press the zero, the, the key labeled squelch, press and hold that for three seconds. And then to change the channels, you can use the up and down arrows to change the channels or you can hold the pound key at the bottom to scan through the channels. And then it will, it will stop on when that phone's active. It has FM radio that you access by pressing the top button here on the side. The orange run, you just press it once to activate the radio. On. And then, of course, the training that I do um, on my own as well, whether it's strength training it or just... It is a tri-bander and does transmit on 220. 70 centimeters and 2 meters. Can be charged both with the cradle and then there is USB-C here on the back for charging the battery as well. Okay, let's take a look at the Baofeng K5 compared to some other Baofengs in size and comparison here. So in the middle we have the new K5. Next to it is the K6. I was a little confused. I thought this would be lesser of a radio, but the K5 is rated at 10 watts. Has a little different screen as you can see here. 
the K6 is rated at 6 watts. And then everybody knows the original UV5R over here on the right. So for size comparison, we'll take a closer look at these side by side. Uh, it's much bigger than the UV5R. This is the UV17. It's similar in size. Uh, it's much more square. This one is kind of kind of round in plastic form. I like the case a lot better on the K5. And then the new beast, the Baofeng UV25. Uh, this one is rated at 11 watts. I did test it and it is pushing out uh, close to that. But here's the lineup of some Baofengs for comparison. What's in the box? I do like this new uh, color box. It's not gonna do me good, but it does look uh, nice and fancy. It, look, it's even got the DX clusters going on there. So, we opened up. We have one manual. I actually was peeking through this. It is in English, and there is a couple things I found useful in here that normally don't come in some of these uh, Baofeng models. There is your, your wiring diagram for the Kenwood jack on the side. It also tells some of the weather frequencies and some other information, but yeah, it's your basic uh, manual. It is in English. You get one radio, one Baofeng K5 radio, and a plastic bag. Get one 2500 milliamp hour, I'm not gonna say milliamp this time, I keep saying that, milliamp hour battery. You get one antenna. This antenna is good for two meters and 70 centimeters. They do boast about a 2 dB gain on that. I cannot confirm it. I wish these tri-band radios would come with a tri-band antenna. Wink, wink. That's going at all the manufacturers. You get your USB-C to USB-A cable. You get your secret service uh, earpiece. And then your belt clip, your lanyard. That's what's in the box! Okay, right now at the time of this video, the Baofeng K5 Plus is on sale for $29.99 at baofengradio.com. Uh, and if you use my link below, uh, they said they will include a free programming cable or shoulder mic, one of your choice. So I'll include the links below in the video description. Thanks for watching and 7-3.